I, I had a, I was a lady in my church that she used to greet everybody. Downtown Riverside, all the homeless will come to the church. Yeah. I mean, drunk or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Come as you and, are. Come as you are. Mm -hmm. And you know, she will hug them, embrace them. And I used to say, ah, oh, God, please yeah. give me the same heart as Julie. Amen. Because when I want to embrace somebody, I don't want to smell anything, yes, Lord. Yes. I just want to let them know that, you know, I love you yes. because he loves me first. Amen. I'm Jesse, behind the camera is James, and we are Roman in Riverside, and today we're in the east side area of Riverside, California. It's a beautiful day as always in California, and we're right here in front of, what is it, Path of Life Ministries? Pathway. Pathway Ministries out here on Massachusetts and Kansas, and today I have the pleasure of talking to Maria. Now, Maria, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, like the ministry you got going, your age, and where you're from. Well, we call it, the ministry is called hiding in the streets but god put a vision in my heart many years ago 15 years ago okay when i was going to first assembly to god all right uh it was a prophet that came to the church and kind of like prophesied over me and i was just a baby in the lord you know yeah. so he said something about me going out there and, and, and just testifying what god has done in my life Okay, so I'm walking down the street and this word came in my head and, and it was blanket, blanket. And I said, well, what does it mean, Lord? Well, what do you mean? So later on, you know, the, God revealed that it was for me to go out there and just let everybody know what he did in my life. Yes. Maria, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like you were homeless yourself back yes, in the day? Yes, I was homeless for almost 15 years. Wow. And how did that come about? How did you become homeless? My addiction. Okay. My addiction, yeah. Mm. You know, I was addicted to heroin. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. And then you overcame that years ago? Yes, yes, yes. And then so, I mean, people overcome addictions and then uh, they get off the streets and they never look back. I mean, what gave you the heart to come and help the homeless when you got better? <laughs> you know, the grace of God. Okay. That's the only way. You know, God gives you this choice. You know, and when I made the choice to follow him, you know, everything that I, the way I seen things, the way that I, uh, everything changed in my life. And I believe in my heart that we all, we all supposed to be doing the same thing. You know, just letting everybody know what God has done in my life. You know. Yeah. So what do you think is the, is the biggest problem for the homeless to get off the streets uh, it's just the addiction keeps them keeps them uh, chained up or is it mental illness or or what's going on they don't want to work or a lot of people come up with all kinds of us uh, uh, I think it's a choice okay you know like for me I got into a point in my life when I was just so so to the bottom to the bottom I mean, I, it was no way out for me, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I just kind of like look up to the Lord. I knew about God, but I didn't know God, yes. you know, because I was raised Catholic. Mm -hmm. And so I just claim his name, and I ask him, I said, Lord, if you are real like they said, and you're alive like they said, I said, you know, give me something that I can hold on to it and, and give me a purpose in life, Lord. Yes. So I can be faithful to you, yes, you the, know? Yes, the Lord commands us to love each other. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, these people are people just like us, you know. 60% uh, of Americans right now are a paycheck away from being on the yes, streets themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of these people are good people. They just had a few bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. Now tell us a little bit more. Who Does all this stuff uh, donate it? Or? No, this is stuff that, yeah, some are donated, some... We get it from our own homes, okay. you know, we clean our closets every six months, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's people from our church that donate stuff too. How many times do you come out? We come out every Saturday. Every Saturday? Every here. Saturday. We either come over here or we go to Corona Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it dangerous? Well, do you ever run into some trouble? I mean, you know, that doesn't deter you, but is it dangerous? You know, you know, sometimes we just got to be wise. Yeah. 
Or we got God's hedge of protection. Yes, God's okay. protection, but then God gives us wisdom. Discernment, yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Yes, if and a you guy's know, a little bit too crazy, then... <laughs> and you know, you know, so far, okay. these people, they're just beautiful people. You know, there's a lot of people don't see it like we do. Yes. Because we've been there before, yes. you see? And so they can see through you yes. when you're real. Yes. You know, so that's why they embrace you because they know you're, it's coming from your heart. Yes, because you're, you're bringing light yes, into a yes, dark place. Yes, yes, And these people have been in the dark mm -hmm. and they see the light yes, coming. Yes, yes. And the darkness is attracted to the light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it, I love yes, it. Yes, yes. And there's children out here. Oh, that's my pastor's wife. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> Do you girl. see families out here, though? Homeless? You know, not here, but sometimes we do. Not not all the time. When we used to go to Corona, I mean, Fairman Park before the pandemic, that was okay. a lot of families there okay so it is getting better yes okay yes tell yes. us about the the city and the government did the government help no uh, well you know i don't really want to get into that okay but you they, know. You, they don't do enough no okay. no no that you know sometimes i feel like to them and i speak for myself because when i was in the streets you know to them we're nothing but trash we're on the way you know, get rid of them. Yes. You know, get rid uh, of them. Like, uh, yes. like they're outcasts, they're a drug yes, to society. Yes, yes, yes. But you know that they're not. No. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Lord goes after that lost one. He'll leave the 99 to find that oh, one. Oh, yeah, you know, that's... And there's so many here, you, you know. know uh, and they warm my heart. We, you know, my, my ministry, we give them a hug. You know, I, I sometimes go and see guys and I say, when was the last time you gave you got a hug? And mm -hmm. they say, the last time you guys came around. Yes. You know, so these guys don't have no personal touch. Mm -hmm. Some of them smell because they don't have showers. And, yeah. and we would smell too if we didn't have a shower, yeah. you mm -hmm. know. And, and a lot of the society, they stay away from them because of that. Yeah. Or there's one bad guy that'll mm -hmm. start a fire because mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. cold and he's trying to stay mm -hmm. warm. Yes. And then everybody's got to clear out of downtown mm -hmm. because they burned a building down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. But you know, it's funny you said that about the smell. Mm -hmm. When I started the ministry, you know, I, I had a, I was a lady in my church that she used to greet everybody. Downtown Riverside, all the homeless will come to the church. Yeah. I mean, drunk or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Come as you and, are. Come as you are. Mm -hmm. And you know, she will hug them, embrace them. And I used to say, ah, oh, God, please yeah. give me the same heart as Julie. Amen. Because when I want to embrace somebody, I don't want to smell anything, Lord. Yes, yes. I just want to let them know that, you know, I love you yes. because he loves me first. Amen. So, Amen. you know, we're, we're shining through him. Amen. You know, so everything we do is because of him. Yes. So if they don't see him shining through us, what are we doing here? Yes. yes. You know, this is not for us. No. This is for his glory. Yes. Amen. You know? Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure. All right. Very nice to meet you. Well, thank you. And at the end of my, my interviews, I always say, can I say a prayer for you? Yes, right. <laughs> Dear Father in heaven, I have your servant Maria here, Father. She's a great woman, Father. I pray, Father, that you protect her all the days of her life, Father. I pray that you you give her healthy days, Father. And I pray that, Father, you, you give her the resources she needs, Father, to, to spread the love, Father, to, to love one another as you commanded us, Father. And, Father, bless this lady, Lord. Protect her mind, Father. Protect her health, Father, all the years of her life, Father. And, Father... I just want something supernatural for Maria. She's a people don't do this, Lord. And uh, can you drop something into her path, Father, that lets her know, Father, that that she is doing your work, Father? I pray all this, Father, in your Son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Maria, can you pray for me? Yes. 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 Can I? Can I bring my leaders over yeah, here? Yeah. Come on, you guys. They're my. They're the leaders over here. I'm just follow them. Yeah. We want you guys to pray for our ministry, Roman and Riverside. Come on. Roman and Riverside. Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on, Dave. We can all hold hands. Yeah, of come course. On. Oh, yeah. All right. What is it called? Roman and Riverside. Roman and Riverside. Yes. Father Lord Jesus, I want to uh, pray for Roman and Riverside, Lord, the church, Lord, that they can be able to be uh, a good outreach, Lord, to be able to go out there and help, help the people, Lord, help out the ones that can't do for themselves, Father. Yes. So I pray for all, for our church, Lord, pray for all the churches, Lord, that we all come together, Lord, just come out here and just help the people that need our help, Father, because we uplift them, Father, we show that there is hope and strength in these, in, in these uh, struggles, Lord, that we can do the things that's of you, Father, the will, the will, to just have the will to just do your job, Father, let go and let you, Father. I just pray for their church, that their church will be able to grow bigger, Lord. Just, just expand them, Lord. Yes. Expand them to where they need to be, Father. 
you know that they're out here doing the right things, Lord. They're, they're, they're walking out here, they're doing their, uh, their outreach, Lord. They're doing the same thing we're doing, Lord. We do, we're all doing your work, Father. We're all doing your work, Lord. Let your work be done and not our own, Father. Just let us be vessels of you, Father. I just pray that the church just continue to grow and have a great pastor, Lord, a great a, a, a great congregation, Lord, that, that can be there and they can help each other out, lift each other up. We said Christian Father, we lift them up, Father. We don't let them fall. We lift them up, Father, that we lift them up to your name, Father. We know that your, that, that your work is the only work to be done, Father. I just pray that you just continue to uh, touch these guys' hearts, Lord. Continue to lead them in the path that they're going, Lord, and continue to lead them in the work that they're doing, Father. And all that work is for you, Father. In your heavy name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is James. We're here with Maria. We're roaming in Riverside. and we Roman! Are out. Yay! <laughs>